Well, it's official. The Xbox brand has did the unthinkable. The Xbox brand has pulled off what many thought, including myself, the impossible. They have officially, single-handedly, completed a whole Xbox brand turnaround. And I really do believe an Xbox takeover is inevitable and imminent. All those years, Phil Spencer was the brunt of those jokes. All those memes, all those outtakes, all those embarrassing moments. It's all come back full circle for the Xbox brand and Phil Spencer. All these years of being slandered, harassed, embarrassed, and the brunt of jokes. All he did was charge up the biggest and meanest spirit bomb for y'all asses, including myself, because I was trolling they bitch asses too. And they cast it upon me in the style of buying Bethesda and buying Activision. And now they have completed the Xbox brand comeback. That is quite damn impressive because now their slate of first party titles and exclusive titles to the Xbox brand now look like this. And that is damn impressive. Now I understand why Sony was so ass heard about this acquisition of uh, Activision. Now I see why they whined so much. Now I see why they bitched and moaned so much and they fought this to the death. Because after I sat down today and actually looked at every single solitary thing, that means one by one that Microsoft now owns, this is an impenetrable first party lineup for anybody to go against. This is a tough thing to compete against. This is something that, quite frankly, you can't compete against it. So that's why my question is today, obviously, as you can tell, are PlayStation and Nintendo in trouble? Because the momentum has definitely started to shift with the release of Starfield, which is the number one selling game in September, by the way. And now with the success in the release of that, now with the success in the release of Forza Motorsport, now Microsoft owns everything under the damn sun. Call of Duty, you know, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, the list goes on and on, Elder Scrolls, everything under the sun that's, that means anything of significance on the Activision and Bethesda. Now they're going to start releasing all these things. And I got to thinking, like, how does Sony PlayStation exclusive lineup stacks up? And how does myself and Nintendo's, the Nintendo God myself, exclusive lineup stacked up? So I had to really take this picture and look at it. And I said, damn, Crash Bandicoot is now owned by Xbox. How funny is that? That's a full circle moment for you right there. And then I had to really look at everything else. And I was like... Yeah, if I was Sony, I would have been pissed off too, because looking at this very, very, very small limited exclusive lineup for the PlayStation brand, Sony and PlayStation are definitely in fucking trouble. I hate to say it, but uh, it, it is what it is. It's facts. I'm speaking as facts to you right now. I don't know how quite possibly they can compete with this powerhouse that Microsoft has made themselves. They control almost every other major franchise in gaming that ain't attached to Nintendo's name. Critically acclaimed things, claims that franchises that sell millions and millions and millions upon each installment, that's just crazy to compete against. And I think starting in 2024, you know what I'm saying, when you have games coming out for the Xbox <laughs> that um, ain't coming out nowhere else, like Avowed and State of Decay 3 and Clockwork Revolution and um, um, what's the next one? Perfect Dark. The list goes on and on. Fable, if it makes 2024, they have a lot of things stacked up and ready to go. And right now, the PlayStation brand really is crickets. <laughs> it's crickets. We don't know what the hell's going on in 2024. We definitely don't know what's going on beyond that. Maybe we've seen a little bit of the Death Stranding 2, the game nobody asks for it and nobody gives a damn about. 
And we know something about another Final Fantasy uh, remake uh, release edition where they're going to milk the hell out of you. That's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all that we really know. And um, and it got me thinking, like, w- how is PlayStation going to compete against this? This is an unfathomable lineup to compete against. Already adding to the first party Xbox Game Studios that they already have. How can you compete against that? At first, I really thought they was being whiny bitches about the whole thing, but now I'm looking at it and I'm like, if you're not Nintendo, how do you compete against this? You know what I mean? And I think Nintendo is not in trouble, but I think they should be a little bit concerned. Even though, you know, Nintendo and Microsoft relationship is a little bit buddy buddy right now, but, you know, competition creates everything. And, um, Looking at all their first party lineups, of course, you know, the Mario Metroids, the Zeldas, and, you know, the Fire Emblems, you know, the Smash Brothers, you know, Xenoblade, the list goes on and on. As, as you can see, they all list here on the screen for you. It's just so many. And, and the fact that they have powerhouses like this and Pokemon and, 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 and stuff like that, Nintendo's pretty much going to be fine. I think we're really going to go back into the days of where the 360 days where Microsoft pretty much dominated everything gaming outside of the Nintendo Wii. I think we're going to that day. I think this is more of PlayStation being in trouble and more of Nintendo being concerned because Nintendo is already out prepping for their next system to release, which you already know they're going to release with bangers on top of bangers because that's what they do. And then Microsoft has this stacked lineup just ready to roll out after they spent all these years of letting these developers work on these games and taking the brunt of the jokes. They were just powering and charging up. They were just loading up the ammunition. They were just loading up the damn clip in the mag for y'all asses. And now they finna unload on you. Then you look at the PlayStation side of this whole situation and you're like, man, what the hell are they going to do? We already had two God of Wars in the last couple of years. Naughty Dog is in a, a, a whole flux of whatever the hell's going on out, out there. They were re-releasing another damn game. Factions was canceled. We know Uncharted is not coming back. Insomniac is holding PlayStation on his back right now with the Spider-Man franchise, but we just released Spider-Man 2, so we know we're not getting another Spider-Man game for another couple of years or even three or more. What the hell is PlayStation going to do? Right now, they're really riding high with the PS5 sales and riding off the uh, the success of their brand of the past, but they ain't really got nothing to show for it. And this is where I think they're really in trouble because what I mean by trouble is not them being, you know, exiled from the gaming industry. they in trouble of absolutely losing all the momentum that they built on Microsoft for the last two generations because one thing Microsoft needed, they needed to control Call of Duty, They needed to get first person shooters and all shooters back to the priority of Xbox. They did that and they also needed to beef up the exclusive lineup to where everything that is prestigious is on the Xbox brand. They have done that almost to every single solitary third party franchise that matters. They have now under their beck and call under their control. This is why the Xbox 360 dominated the way it did and put put the PlayStation 3 in, in, in very big danger <laughs> when it was out. This is the storm that's brewing again. And it looks like Sony is going to be caught with their pants down once again in this situation, which is very, very troubling to see. I, I see why Jim Ryan retired and left office. I see why Sean Layton is still taking shots at them. You know what I mean? Because obviously somebody's not doing their job over there at Sony. We got to figure out what the hell is going on. We really do. I have never seen the PlayStation brand in this situation to where I don't know what the hell they coming out with. And it's about to be the next year in two months or less. Do y'all know? Somebody tell me. Let me know. But when you look at it all in all, right? When you look at it all in all. And you see what they have. This is something that's going to be a force to reckon with when it's all said and done. When Microsoft start releasing these games, and by the way, Phil Spencer said he's game for anybody, for any franchise that the Activision developers want to bring back 
from old franchises of Activision. I don't think y'all understand that. Because Activision has Call of Duty, Crash Bandicoot, you know, Diablo, Guitar Hero, Gun. Gun was an old game back in the two generations ago. I remember that game. Um, you know, Hearthstone, Overwatch, which is a beast. Prototype could probably come back. Singular Terry, Skylanders. Oh, I hated that game. They control Spyro now, which is so funny. Here's the big thing. Tenchu. That's one I think can probably come back. And then you also could have True Crime. I would love to see True Crimes come back. And them controlling World of Warcraft and Starcraft is just insane. And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. And that's just the Activision side of things. <laughs> that's just the Activision side of things, y'all. We we didn't even talk about Bethesda yet. That's the funny part about this whole thing. We didn't even talk about Bethesda yet. So here's 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 here's, here's how I see it playing out. 2024 is going to be a pitiful, pitiful, pitiful year because I think this is where the paradigm shift is going to happen. I think Sony spent too much time beating their damn chest and got caught with their pants down. And it seems like it's a company with no direction right now. This is why we have so much shuffling amongst, you know, high ranking officials at the game, the studios and Sony PlayStation itself. This is why we have no 2024 games lineup for the PS5. And this is why... <laughs> This is why <clears throat> um, Microsoft was banking on this. This is why they fought this so hard about this acquisition of Activision. Yes, I understand consolidation in the gaming industry can be bad in some points, but it also makes people step their game up. And I don't think Sony really wants to step their game up. That's what's really frightening to me. With, Acti with, 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 with Xbox owning Activision and Bethesda, they have a plethora of franchises to go through, which are all critically acclaimed. Not all of them, but most of them are critically acclaimed. And the new franchises they are working on as well. And of course, with Nintendo, <laughs> with our good friends at Nintendo, I mean, bam. This list is in, 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 impenetrable. You can't penetrate this list that Nintendo has. It's crazy. I think Nintendo's going to be just fine as they always will be, as they always have been, you know, when it comes to their things, because their franchises pretty much sell better than you know, most franchises in gaming. And quite frankly, their, you know, the star power of their franchises are pretty big. That's where PlayStation doesn't have. PlayStation doesn't have those absolute over the hill star power franchises that you know from Nintendo and now that you know. Um, from Microsoft. I mean, this lineup is pretty thin. There's a few things missing, you know what I mean? But we don't know if it's going to come back. You know what I'm saying? You know, kill zone, stuff like that. Resistance, we know that ain't coming back no more. It, it's very interesting to see what happens. Ghost of Tsushima, we might get a sequel to that. Who knows? Um, but the thing is, with the PlayStation template that they've been running for the last few years, I don't know what's going to happen, people. I don't know what's going to happen, but I will say this. It's going to be interesting to see Microsoft back in control. And I tried to tell y'all before Phil Spencer wasn't playing with y'all asses and he showed y'all he was not playing with y'all asses. You feel me? Because <laughs> this man really got the work done. Now, now, this, this man, this is nerve wracking. Can PlayStation end up being the third ranked console once again? I think it's feasible. I think it's possible. And with that Xbox lineup and with that new Nintendo Switch coming out, which is supposed to be just as powerful as the Xbox, um, Xbox series and the PS5. Oh yeah. I think PlayStation is definitely in trouble. And I think Nintendo should be a little bit concerned because Xbox, they're definitely playing with power now. 